Hello, and welcome to the 505 tutorial for Cascade PID. In this tutorial, we will review dynamic adjustments to the Cascade PID control. It is important to gain a clear understanding of the basics of Cascade PID dynamic adjustments so that you can properly tune your controller. The Cascade control can be configured to control any system process related to or affected by turbine speed or load. Typically, this controller is configured and used as a turbine inlet or exhaust pressure controller. The Cascade control is a PID controller that is cascaded with the speed PID, and it can be tuned while the unit is running. PID refers to the proportional gain, integral gain, and derivative ratio, all of which are the adjustable and interacting parameters used to match the response of the control loop with the response of the system. To make PID dynamic adjustments, you must be logged in to the service or configure user level and operation mode. Refer to the Changing User Levels and Changing Modes and Languages tutorials to learn how to do this. To check the user level and mode, press Mode. To access the Cascade Control screen from the Home screen, you can either press 5 on the numeric keypad, which is the number associated with the Cascade Control button on the Home screen or use the navigation cross keys to select Cascade Control, then press Enter. From the Cascade Control screen that opens, you will need to access the screen that allows you to make dynamic adjustments. Scroll through the available menu bar options until you see the Dynamics button, then press the black function key below Dynamics. The graph at the top of the Cascade Dynamics screen allows the live trending of Cascade Input, Cascade Set Point, and PID output. To change the maximum and minimum values for the y-axis of the graph, press the black function key below Trend Settings. When you're done, press the black function key below Close. The Cascade PID dynamics include proportional gain, integral gain, and derivative ratio, or DR variables. To change the values for these parameters, either use the navigation cross keys and the adjust keys or use the navigation cross keys, press enter, use the numeric keypad, and then press enter again. The step test allows you to see how well your PID settings match the response of the control loop. To perform the step test, press the black function key below enable step test. The step test enabled LED illuminates green and the step button on the menu bar becomes active. Set a step value using the box. This value can be positive or negative. It will be added to the cascade set point during the step test. To run the step test, press the black function key below step. To disable the step test, press the black function key below disable step test. For a more in-depth explanation of PID tuning, refer to the speed, cascade, and Auxiliary Dynamics Adjustments section of the 505 Product Manual. When finished, press the black function key below Close to exit the Cascade Dynamics screen. Press Home to return to the main screen. You now know the basics of Cascade PID Dynamic Adjustments. Please be sure to view the other tutorials for more information.